Welcome back to the another video of Cricket Thrills. Siklan Mushtaq is regarded as one of the best off spinner in the history of cricket. He is famously known for his pioneering the dusra. He was a trend setter bowler. Siklan Mushtaq was perhaps the first off spin bowler to master the dusra delivery. That spun away from the batsman even though it is delivered with an off spin actions. In the third test match against West Indies in 1997 at Karachi, he took 5 for 50 54 in the first inning and 4 for 26 in the second inning. He was declared man of the match as Pakistan won the match by 10 wickets. West Indies won the toss and elected to bat first and they were bundled out 216 and 212 all out. While Pakistan scored 417 and 15 for no loss. Amir Sohail 160 and Ajaz Ahmed 151 scored a brilliant 100. Pakistan won the three match series by 3-0. The match umpires were Cyril Mitchley and Salim Badar. While match referee was Raman Sabar Rao. Let's watch all of his nine wickets. Quite well, and just the minute I say that, through the gate, Lara went for another extravagant stroke, and well bowled the Klein Mustard. This was cleverly done by Siklan. Beautiful bowling. I was on his leg stumps while playing this drive. He didn't move into the ball and played over the delivery. It's looking absolutely brilliant, Brian. But so often as that has happened in the series, got onto those 30. This one cleverly bowled by Siklan, the top spinner, Brian making room for that drive and playing over it. There again, the front foot not to the pitch of the ball. In fact, the front foot seemed wide outside the left arm when he played that. Sort of an inside-out shot, shot uh, with the new ball. On second attempt, it appeared, and Sherwin Campbell will be devastated. That was a loose delivery; should have gone to the boundary. Instead, Campbell is walking back to the pavilion. Another big breakthrough for the Pakistan team, and Sherwin Campbell, being so well set, could have been looking for a century. Well, it's always risky to be cutting an off spinner, and uh, there was Seema Khan coming in that way, and uh, ball uh, lobbing easily to uh, Amir Sohail for a catch in the slips eventually. Before the tail comes in, that was a golden opportunity. Oh, oh <laughs> fabulous delivery! Came in just a touch, probably quicker as well. And Holder beaten completely. Bold, lock, stock, and barrel. Poor shot there from Holder. So Prince Holden taught at school basically that you shouldn't cut an off spinner. Played up the uh, back foot through the covers. That's a safer bet. But then again, Holder beaten for the spin and off the length as well. Should have played forward to that one. But a good neat innings of 26 uh, from uh, Roland, playing his first Test position. Playing trying to wrap the tail up. Bishop goes out, leans away from that once again. It was the straighter one. And Moyne had no trouble completing that stumping. What a bowler! That was uh, hardly pitched for that top spinner to get a wicket for Siklan. Playing for the off spin and a good stumping, but lost for a duck was a big blow. Trent comes in. Oh, Walsh goes for it. Gets an edge. Inza Manohar easily completes the catch. So Saklan finishing with a five-wicket haul here, 212 for nine. The West Indies. What a fine performance it has been by Saklan and the rest of the team as well to bring the West Indian total down to 212 on a pitch where they could have gone well past 300 considering their start. Absolutely right, Saklan bowling the top spinner once again and Walsh going for the off spinner. In fact. Misreading the ball and uh, it lands safely into the big hands of Finzer Mamulhak, safe catcher. But yes, uh, Siklan must be. Try to out pink him, fight on attacking field. Well, he's got off the back for the pad. The umpire seems to think there was a bit of bat in it, and Brian Lara will have to walk away. 
The fine inning comes to an end, courtesy Sir Glenn, yet again. Yes, Sir Glenn does make life difficult for a left-hander in particular because batsman is not very sure whether it will be his straighter one or a genuine off-spinner. Just for Lara in two minds there, not knowing whether it will spin away from him or come back to him, and in the end just holding out to Salim it off. So Mohammad Wasim's long vigil there at close catching in position finally paying dividend, and Lara goes for 30. Salim it off, for the short leg. Everybody waiting. Well then, soon enough, we'll get an edge. That one going back, regulation to the keeper. Big spin for the clan. Chandapal lashing out at it and getting only a distinct edge. A loose shot from Chandapal. He was not playing the clan very well. Earlier was uh, missed uh, over the gully position and this one again a loose shot. He's in no position to play that cover drive. He must be very disappointed. The West Indians wanted him to be there till the end. Yet again, to at least have Roland Holder hold one end. Holder rushes out, gets an edge, and Ahmed Sahel cleans up that slip. Well, towards the end of the day's play, that is a very, very expensive wicket. And the Pakistanis will be delighted. It's an excellent catch by Ahmed Sohel. Holder trying to whip that one. Keep it on. A straight of delivery once again from Saklan Mushtaq doing the damage. A nice catch. Ordinary arc. That's incredible, isn't it? When Carl Hooper was batting, it looked as if everything was under control. West Indians were on a roll, but here Saklan Mushtaq has dented their hopes. You never play a cut to an off spinner. That is what the can coaching man will suggest. Well, David Klein once again coming. Sir Klein has a fast short stepping action with a halting delivery and has a prosperity to ball no balls unusual for a baller with such a short run. He is criticized for attempting too much variation and he often throws in the dusra the first time a batsman faces. Sir Klein's international career got off to a supplanted start. He was the fastest baller to 100 one day wickets and his phenomenal control means that he regularly bowled at the death. He was the fastest to reach the milestone of 200 and 250 wickets in ODIs. A right arm off spin bowler, Saklan played 49 Test matches and 169 One Day International for Pakistan between 1995 and 2004. He took 208 Test wickets and 288 ODI wickets and also scored a Test century as well against New Zealand in March 2001. Until 2016, Saklan Mushtaq was the fastest bowler in the history of ODI cricket to take 100 wickets. If you like this video, please comment, share, and subscribe. Thank you very much.